Very, very, very special day for us, and, and really to celebrate two things. First, visitors from, from Ace from, from all over the country, possibly all over the world. I haven't seen anybody internationally, but welcome to, to our friends at American Coaster Enthusiasts here to Great America today. And secondly, we're here to celebrate a ride that's very, very special to me, and I know for a lot of other people, and that's our tremendous ride, The Wizard. And to help us get started this, thank you. To help us get started this morning, I'd like to introduce the president of the American Coaster Enthusiast, Dave Alton. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Hank. Um, we have, just so you know, we have about 150 people here. I think 39 states and one Canadian province are, are uh, represented. So just give you an idea how, how popular this ride is. Uh, the other thing I'd like to say is it's rides like this that give parks their character. You know, you can put it the next million dollar ride in, bring people in, but it's these rides that have sustained their attraction over the years to families and generations, and, and it's a great thing that parks like Six Flags are maintaining that. So, uh, as a token of our appreciation, uh, I want to present them a host plaque for the Preservation Conference for 2012. So, this is Lee. Uh, I can read this, and I guess it's a kind of awkward pose, but yeah. all right, this is uh, Ace Blue, Six Flags Great America, as co host for a 2012 Preservation Conference. Ace gathers today to recognize Six Flags Great America for the relocation of Little Dipper and Ace Coaster Classic from Melrose Kitty Land and the continued operation of Wizard and Ace Coaster Landmark. Ace demands Six Flags Great America preservation efforts to maintain these coasters in the original state. American Coaster Enthusiast Preservation Conference, August 10th, 2012. And uh, now I'll call up our Preservation Director, Howard Galuli, who will read the black uh, text, and then we'll have the Regional Rep Team, Scott Heck, Regional Rep Representative and his assistants, unveil the actual plaque. So. And by the way, uh, if anybody doesn't know that Six Flags Great America is the only Six Flags park that has a second coaster landmark plaque. There's one also for Batman that we presented here in 2005. There's only, uh, I think, two other parks that have two plaques, and those plaques are parks that have two wooden coasters. This is the only park that has two steel coasters recognized with these landmark plaques. So I'll turn it over to Howard then. Thank you. Um, the plaque reads, American Coaster, American Coaster Enthusiasts recognize Wizard at Six Flags Great America as an ace roller coaster landmark, a designation reserved for rides of historical significance. Designed by engineer Warner Stingle and manufactured by the legendary Anton Schwarzkopf, Wizard is the last remaining large steel custom built Schwarzkopf speed racer coaster in North America. Originally named Willard's Wizard, after Marriott founder J. Willard Marriott, when the park opened at Marriott's Great America on May 29, 1976. It was one of two identical rides that opened that same year. The other ride, which had opened earlier on March 20, 1976, was located at Marriott's Great America in Santa Clara, California. In the 1980s, the names of both coasters were shortened to just Wizard. Unfortunately, the coaster in California was removed in 1988 only a few years after both parks were sold to different owners. Featuring an unusual electric lift system with motors built within the ride's toboggan-style vehicles, the trains ascend 70 feet to the top of a spiral lift hill. Riders then experience strong positive G-forces as the four-car, 24-passenger trains plummet down steep drops into tight, heavily banked turns, reaching speeds of up to 45 miles per hour along the 3,100 feet of winding drops and turns. Ace commends Six Flags Great America for preserving and maintaining Wizard. While other parks have retired similar coasters to make way for new rides, Wizard continues to thrill new generations of riders well into the 21st century. Presented by American Coaster Enthusiast, August 10th, 2012. I just want to say thank you very much to the American Coaster Enthusiasts for celebrating the Wizard with us. And it's such a special ride. I, I don't even know if you remember, but when Superman, the ride, went in back in 2001, there were a lot of rumors going around. And in fact, we explored very carefully the possibility of taking the Wizard out. If you don't know much about our park, we're very landlocked. We don't have 
much expandable land left here at Six Flags Great America. So often, when we put a major ride in, another ride has to come out. And we actually looked at this site very carefully. And one of the reasons we did not make that decision was because of your organization, because of the ACE organization. We received tons of emails and letters and calls, really an outcry to preserve this last Schwarzkopf racing roller coaster left in the world. And we listened. And we, we heard you loud and clear. And another very special thing about this ride is if you ask people who live here, I know a lot of you don't, but if you ask people who live in Chicagoland, a lot of people will tell you the very, very first ride they ever rode was absolutely the wizard, the very <laughs> first coaster anyway. It is very special to the people here in Chicago. The other coaster that we just put in in 2010 that was mentioned on the plaque, the Little Dipper, which moved from Kennyland and Melrose Park. A lot of people will also tell you that that was the first coaster that they ever wrote. So I really feel like we've, we've accomplished what we wanted to do, and that was to preserve history. Preserve history, theme park history, amusement park history, roller coaster history here in Chicago. And we're very, very proud to have both the, the, the Wizard and also a Little Dipper here at Six Flags Great America. So just one more thank you, big thank you to the American Coaster Enthusiast, David Howard, thank you very much. And please, please enjoy your day here at Six Flags Great America. Thank you. Thank you. That's the end of our presentation. So.